Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to MSP lecture series on main group chemistry. Uh, in my previous lecture, I was discussing about methods of extraction of uh, boron and aluminum from their respective uh, minerals. And let me start uh, the discussion on chemistry of uh, boron and aluminum compounds. To begin with, let me consider discussion on hydrates of boron. The simplest hydride of boron is uh, gaseous diborane. Of course, the simplest one should have been BH3. It does not have an independent existence and it dimerizes readily. As a result, for all practical purpose, we can consider the simplest hydride of boron as B2H6. Higher borons do exist. They can be liquid such as B5H9 and solids such as B10. H14. Of course, we have numerous examples of boron hydrates, both neutral as well as anionic. I shall uh, give more details on those things when I consider Wade's rules for explaining structures uh, in uh, boron hydrates. Uh, the boranes are essentially uh, cleaved by Lewis bases because they have electron deficient uh, BHB bridging uh, bonds. Okay. So, one can expect them to readily cleave in presence of stronger Lewis bases. Uh, boron form more hydrates than any other group 13 element. Of course, perhaps uh, after uh, carbon, um, boron is the second element among uh, uh, p block elements to form largest number of uh, hydrates. Uh, majority of these boron hydrates or electron deficient compounds. That means, they have both 2 center to electron bonds and 3 center to electron bonds. That means, uh, most of the boron hydrates have a few uh, terminal BH bonds which are 2 center to electron and some of them are bridging BHB where we come across 3 center to electron bonds. These compounds uh, can be classified into two groups. One is BN HN plus 4 and BN HN plus 6, two types of boron hydrates we come across. Okay. Uh, of course, one can prepare diborane uh, starting from uh, a metathesis reaction. Uh, for example, um, one can consider boron trifluoride etherate. simply reacting this one with lithium borohydride in, in an ether solvent such as diethyl ether or tetrahydrofuran. And in case of uh, uh, lithium borohydride okay, and lithium aluminum hydride, if you consider lithium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride similar to lithium hydride are good reagents for the transfer of H minus but they are generally preferred over lithium hydride and sodium hydride because they are soluble in ethers. So, that is the reason in organic chemistry wherever we want to transfer hydrogen, uh, we prefer uh, lithium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride simply because their solubility in organic uh, solvents such as ethers. So, they are preferred over lithium hydride or sodium hydride. Okay. So, higher boron hydrates contain the same structural features as that of B2H6 where we come across uh, uh, 3 center to electron bonds okay. and how to 
prepare higher boron hydrates. It is simply by taking diborane and heating at a different temperature one can get higher boron hydrates. For example, B2H6 on heating at a temperature 100 to 120 degree centigrade leads to the formation of B4H10 plus H2. So, instead if diborane is heated to a temperature of 180 to 220, it leads to the formation of B5H9. Okay. So, some boron hydrates I have listed here you can see under B n H n 4 plus we have I have listed few examples here for example, B 2 H 6, B 5 H 9, B 6 H 10, uh, B 8 H 12, B 10 H 14. Under B n H n plus 6 series I have listed a few uh, examples there are B 4, B 4 H 10, B 5 H 11, B 6 H 12. B8 H14 and all of them invariably have okay, some terminal BH bonds and some bridging BHB. Uh, 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 so, in BHP one can expect 3 center 2 electron bonds uh, typical of diborane. You can see here uh, in case of uh, boron before prior to the formation of uh, say BH3, uh, it promotes one of the electron to the P and then it undergoes sp3 hybridization to have 3 sp3 orbitals having 1 electron and 1 sp3 with no electron. So, they arrange in this fashion and they interact with 1 s uh, uh, electron of hydrogen to form a center like this. These two are terminal where we have 2 electron each. Uh, here we have no electron, here we have 2 electrons. So, as a result it becomes 3 centered BHB 3 centered 2 electron bond. So, similarly we have 1 here. Okay, so, similar type of bonds you can anticipate wherever we have a hydrogen bridging two electron deficient boron atoms in all most of boron hydrates. Okay. So, all the boron hydrates are flammable and several of the lighter ones including diborane react spontaneously with air and often with the explosive violence and a green flash emission from a from an excited state of the reaction intermediate involving a species such as BO. The final product of the reaction is the essentially the hydrated oxide. For example, if we expose it to uh, oxygen, uh, the product one can see here. For example, if you take B2H6 okay, on exposure to oxygen. it can give ok. So, if you expose B to H 6 to moisture So, one has to be extremely careful while handling boron hydrates, strictly they have to be handled under inert atmosphere and moisture and air should be excluded and also whenever we are using solvents, organic solvents, all these reactions has to be carried out in non aqueous medium and in super dry organic solvents, preferably ether such as uh, higher ether such as diglime or triglime. Okay, so, some uh, structures I am showing you here for example, B 4 H 10 this is how it looks like and uh, B 5 H 9 they are all originated from okay, these structures from regular polyhedron and, and of course, when I describe Wade's rule uh, for depicting the structure of boron hydrides I elaborate more on these aspects and I will show you all kind of polyhedron we come across from how and how to derive the boron hydride structures starting from regular polyhedron. These are couple of examples of uh, 
uh, homoleptic boron hydride compounds for example, ALBH3 3 times you can see here ALBH3 3 times in which 2 hydrogen atoms are acting as bridging whereas 2 we have terminal. So, uh, aluminum is octahedrally surrounded by 6 hydrogen atoms. So, similarly we have uh, tetra kiss boron uh, hydride zirconium. So, here we have essentially surrounding zirconium 8 we have. So, as a result uh, zirconium is in a uh, at the center of anti square prismatic geometry and one can also see here zirconium having uh, okay, uh, as many as 8 uh, uh, coordination uh, couple of them are trimethylphosphine and rest of them are uh, tri bridging uh, boron uh, hydrides in this way. Okay. So, let us look into the properties of these borens. Uh, so, these borens are Lewis acids because of electron deficiency and they are soft and bulky Lewis bases. That means, whenever we take uh, borens uh, and treat them with soft and bulky Lewis bases, cleave diborens symmetrically. If I use the term symmetrically, you can think that there are two ways of cleaving this uh, borens. One is symmetrical cleaving and another one is unsymmetrical cleaving. Unsymmetrical cleaving, soft and bulky Lewis bases cleave diborens symmetrically and more compact and hard Lewis bases cleave the hydrogen bridge unsymmetrically. Although uh, they react with many hard Lewis bases, diborene is best regarded as a soft Lewis acid. Okay. So, I will show you those uh, symmetrical as well as unsymmetrical cleaving. For example, uh, diborane is treated with uh, trimethyl amine. If it is treated with two equivalents of trimethyl amine. So, it can cleave this one symmetrically like this. So, in this one it results in the formation of of course, one can also write conveniently this one as this is the standard practice. It indicates boron is uh, tetrahedrally surrounded by 3 hydrogen atoms and 1 NME3 and NME3 lone pair is going towards boron. Okay. So, in case of unsymmetrical let me consider here. For example, if I treat this one with uh, 2 equivalents of uh, ammonia, it uh, unsymmetrically cleaves the bond. Uh, So, unsymmetrical cleaving is here. Okay. So, this leads to essentially minus and then we have another one. So, so, so this shows symmetrical and this is unsymmetrical. So, soft bulky amines cleaves symmetrically and hard uh, simple Lewis bases cleave unsymmetrically. Let us look into one more important reaction we come across with boron hydrates that is hydroboration. Okay. 
So, hydroboration is nothing but the reaction of diborane with alkenes in ether solvent to produce organoboranes. Okay, I repeat again hydroboration reaction is nothing but the reaction of diborane with alkenes in ether solvent to produce organoboranes. So, organoboranes are very useful intermediates in synthetic organic chemistry. For example, you can use diborane or one can also use a borane ether adduct. For example, one can use adduct here when it is treated with an alkene. preferably in ether solvents, ethers. Okay, so, it forms CH3, CH2, BH2 plus R2O comes out. Okay. So, uh, the BC bond uh, here uh, in the primary product of hydroboration is an intermediate stage in the stereospecific formation of CH or COH bond. That means, further if you carry out this reaction, one can make CH bond or one can also make COH bond. From the inorganic chemistry point of view, the reaction, this hydroboration reaction is a very convenient method for the preparation of a wide variety of organoboranes. Okay. Let us look into another interesting uh, ion, uh, BH4. Okay. So, this is also called as tetrahydroborate ion. Of course, here if you have sodium, we call sodium borohydrate and if you have lithium here, we can call lithium borohydrate and simply this ion can be termed as tetrahydroborate ion. So, this ion is an useful intermediate for the preparation of metal hydride complexes and a variety of borane adducts. Diborane reacts with alkali metal hydrides to produce salts containing BH4 minus. So, because of the sensitivity of diborane and lithium hydride, uh, uh, one should not carry out these reactions in water or under atmosphere. So, these reactions has to be carried out as I had mentioned all already in non aqueous medium using very, very dry organic solvents. Okay. So, here simply one can take B2H6 treat with two equivalents of lithium hydride to generate very useful this lithium borohydride. Okay. So, this reaction is essentially carried out in diglyme. or triglyme. They are higher or high boiling ethers. Okay. Okay. So, although this BH4 minus ion is thermodynamically unstable with respect to hydrolysis, the reaction is very slow at high pH and some synthetic applications have been devised in water as well. For example, germane that is GEH4. Okay, can be prepared by dissolving germanium oxide and potassium tetrahydroborate in aqueous potassium hydroxide and then acidifying the solution. Okay. For example, here I will show you that reaction, how one can conveniently carry out in aqueous medium as well. So, this is how one can do, but these reactions are very rare. Not often we come across this kind of situation where boron hydride can be used in aqueous medium. Okay. Mm, just let me give some uh, reactions showing the formation of higher boron hydrides starting from diborane. For example, B2H6 when it is treated with sodium borohydride.
at 363 Kelvin in the diglime. It gives anionic boron hydride Na B3 H8. plus H2. Okay. Similarly, one can start from anionic boron hydride, the same that is generated right now. This is when it is treated with hydrochloric acid. It gives neutral boron hydride B4H10. one can see whether the equation is balanced or not. When B3 H8 minus is treated with 5 equivalents of HBr, it gives B3 H7 Br minus plus 5 equivalents of H2 will be liberated. Okay. In the same reaction when it is carried out at elevated temperature 100 degree centigrade, for example, 370, 3 Kelvin, okay, it gives a different boron hydride B5H9 plus 4H2 plus 5 Br minus. Okay. One more example I will give you. Let us take B3H8 anion, anion. I heat this one at 435 Kelvin in diglime. It gives Na2 B6 H6 plus 5 H2. The structure of this one is very similar to planar benzene molecule. Okay, so I was using these terms diglime, triglime. So let us see what are those. They are I said uh, acyclic polyethers. Okay. So, let me write the uh, structure for diglime. Okay. So, now make an attempt to name this uh, uh, ether. Uh, of course, one can write several names for them. One methoxy okay 2 2 methoxy ethoxy ethoxy ethane so this is one way of mentioning or simply one can write with a 2 methoxy ethyl ether. This is another way of writing or one can also write its name di 2 methoxy ethyl ether ether or another name is there di di ethylene diethylene glycol okay, dimethyl ether. Okay. So, this is okay, essential they are high boiling ethers. 
wherever you require to go for higher temperature, okay, one can conveniently use these uh, ethers. Triglime uh, is this one. So, this is triglime. In the same fashion, you make an attempt to name this one as well. Okay. So, uh, as I mentioned, diborane finds a lot of uh, you know applications in organic synthesis. Let me write a few reactions here. Uh, already I showed you the reaction with uh, ammonia. Mm, what would happen uh, if it is treated with sodium, mercury uh, uh, alloy or sodium amalgam? It forms sodium borohydride plus B3 H8. So, one can get these two and if we react this one with CO carbon monoxide at 470 Kelvin, okay, CO is 20 bar, you can simply get the adduct. Okay. If it is treated with methanol, it will give Of course, uh, I did not balance it, you can always balance by looking at how many molecules of methanol is needed. So, in, in general, okay, if you use uh, soft bulky Lewis acids, what you get is yeah, so adduct. If you Treat this one with HX, what you get is B2H5X plus H2 that also I showed you. And if you treat with lithium aluminum hydride okay, in e ether, you can get lithium borohydride. Of course, you take here, you get this one. So, what would happen if you treat this one uh, with uh, of course, I, I already showed you uh, this hydroboration reaction. If you take this one, what you get is 2 CH3, CH2 whole thrice boron, this you get it. Of course, here uh, I will go further. Uh, if you take here, if you add H3O, that means H plus, what it can give is 3 C2H6 plus BOH thrice. What would happen if we add here uh, H2O2 at this stage? What you can get is 3C2 H5 alcohol, you will get ethanol plus same B O H thrice. I think this will do. Of course, if you want more example, always you can go to any uh, organ chemistry book and look into the chapter on hydroboration, you will come across with, uh, several such uh, reactions. Uh, let me stop uh, here uh, and let me continue uh, in my uh, next lecture on aluminum hydrides. Okay, thank you very much and have a very wonderful Iranian chemistry reading. Thank you. Swayam Prabha, Digital India, Educated India.